I know you're all going to go back to your communities and begin to have conversations with the people you live amongst saying what needs to happen. What I'm suggesting is that we think of a new normal. We think about at least 50% of those conversations are about the solutions as well as the problems. Because if we're going to have conversations about such a big, serious thing as a global planetary emergency, it's very easy for your neighbours and your friends who haven't yet joined the movement to reside in that BBC John Laurie voice of, we're doomed, Mr. Mannering, we're doomed. But if we have the solutions, it shows that we can do it. And we've been working on the solutions since 2007 with the Zero Carbon Britain project at the Centre for Alternative Technology. We launched our first report in 2007 in Parliament. Now basically, we've been modelling with 10 years worth of hour by hour data, looking at how we can power down from our extreme energy lifestyles that we live at the moment by 60%. So we can actually deliver warmer houses, transport systems that are run for the benefit of the citizens, it's easier to walk and cycle, better diets, there's all sorts of positives in there. But at the same time, the solutions are waiting for us in this wind-swept island. Huge potential for offshore wind. And if we build all the renewables that we need, and we own them with our municipal councils, town councils, we don't invest our money from fossil fuels into them, if we own them, we can have the jobs, and we can have the benefits. So it's, it's a really exciting, positive vision. It's not a chore, it's possibly the most exciting transition we could imagine for the 21st century. And actually rising to this challenge becomes one of the most powerful, heartfelt motivators. I go off around the country doing Zero Carbon Britain talks for local groups in Yorkshire, Lancaster, all over the place, and where I arrive I find really exciting, authentic, grassroots projects that are pioneering new relationships with how we do things, new relationships to how we move ourselves around, how we get energy, how we have land and food and so forth. It's really uplifting to go around and see all those little future visions, actual practical examples of Zero Carbon Britain coming to life through people like you doing that solution stuff around the UK. And it's exciting to find Bristol's declared a climate emergency. It's exciting to find that we're, we're, we're launching a rapid transition alliance in Parliament on Monday. It's exciting to go and talk to the people in Manchester working towards zero carbon by 2038. Because their mayor, Andrew Burnham, says it's going to be a really exciting opportunity. And he's absolutely right. So thanks to the work of thousands of people around the world, like yourselves, who are beginning to model and do visions for all sorts of different places, from Tanzania to Los Angeles, from South Asia to the Baltic, all sorts of really powerful modeling work is emerging, and lots of it is using hourly data, hour by hour, showing we can do this. So what we've done is we've done a sweep of it all, and we've put it all into one free-to-download PDF called Red Raising Ambition, where you can click on the links and go and see all this work from different parts of the world and use that to build the solutions momentum to help people cope with just how serious the news is and show the positive slant that we can have on it. Because rising to such a major emergency unleashes something in society, like we see with floods or like we see with terrorist attacks, unleashes something in ourselves and in our communities that can bring about change. That is, I feel that coming with the climate emergency. So let's speak out and send a clear message to our government now. We're beginning to get government consensus around zero, but we need a cross-party consensus on an action plan. So we have stability for investment, for what training we need, for what technologies we need to develop, and it no longer becomes a political football. Let's treat it like the Olympics and build a sense of collective culture around we're going to do this. The science says we must, the technology says we can, it's time to say we will. You can download all of this free of charge from zerocarbonbritain.org. It's all there for you. Take it. Thank you very much.